I got thrown in the pool at the anal set 36 fueling party. Welcome to Launch Base. Hey guys, welcome back to The Stimulus. I'm Steph Evs, and yes, it has been two months since I have uploaded a video on this channel, and there's a very good reason for that. Actually, I am currently in French Guiana getting ready to launch four satellites on September 15th on a Vega rocket. That's right, French Guiana, South America. Look it up on a map, don't feel bad. I had to search it on Google to figure out where it was. But yeah, I worked a graveyard shift for a month straight and basically had no time to do anything other than try and adjust my sleep pattern and then go into work and work from 11 o'clock at night to 8 o'clock in the morning. So that's why there hasn't been any content on this channel and I am so sorry! So it's been a crazy week. This is my first trip out of the country ever. I know, 26 years old, so well traveled. I got my passport not too long ago, got my all sorts of vaccinations. I had this terrible fear of needles and had to get a yellow fever vaccination, which fun fact hurts, but not as bad as the typhoid vaccination, which was an oral one because again, fear of needles and that upset my stomach. But yeah, let's take a look back at this week. So first off on Monday the 8th, we took a red eye from San Francisco to Chicago. And then from Chicago to San Juan, Puerto Rico. The next leg of the trip was going to take us through Guadalupe and then we were going to go on to Martinique. And what we found out in San Juan was that two of our crew, uh, my boss Ben and one of the mechanical guys, Derek, were going to stay on the same plane in Guadalupe and go straight on to Martinique. And then the rest of us, the other four, had to get off, get out, um, get off the plane, go back out through like customs and out through security and then get another ticket and then get back on a different plane and arrive in Martinique an hour and a half later. So that was a lot of fun, but we did get to Martinique and spent the night there. Going to dinner now. First night in Martinique, well only night in Martinique. It's great, I'm so excited. Ah. And I felt bad, I didn't take a whole lot of footage because by the time we got there it was late at night, we had time to eat, drink a little bit, hang out, and then go to bed because the next day we had to catch another flight from Martinique to Cayenne, French Guiana. Once we landed in Cayenne, we then had to get on a bus and ride about an hour to Kourou, French Guiana, which is where I'm currently at now. And then this happened. Thing is that there's a campaign ahead of us, Inelsat 36, which is built by my company, SSL, and Inelsat 33E, I think, that's built by Boeing, and they're going up on an Ariane 5 rocket, which is way bigger than the Vega that we're going to launch on, and we're going to get to see that launch, which I think is taking place August 24th, so that's going to be awesome, and I'm super stoked about it. That's right, two rocket launches that I'm going to get to see live in the next couple months. I'm so stoked! And then I'm sure you saw the footage from the initial clip where I was indoctrinated as a noob at launch base at the Inelsat 36 
uh, fueling party, which is where they uh, throw all the noobs in the pool. Thanks, Ivan. You're a real treat. Thanks, buddy. And then this happened. out of country this place is insane but not insane like busy it's just it's so much slower here everything's on what they call island time so nobody's in a rush about anything everybody speaks French I have never taken a French lesson in my life but I'm learning like words all the time a lot of food words I've picked up like palm is apple oof is egg because they put eggs on their pizza and I've learned that please and thank you will get you miles even if you don't speak any other words just Messi is great. S'il vous plaît. Yes, it's like even if you're a dumb American, they'll t they'll take that. It'll, it'll be okay. So if the launch goes off on time, I will be, have been here for six weeks total. So one down, five to go. And this is my swanky hotel room slash kind of mini apartment. This will be my home for the next five weeks. Yeah, we're down to five at this point. So I will give you a quick tour. Living room, kitchen, television. Mm -hmm. Bedroom, and then here is the bathroom with the lovely shower that only gives me about five minutes of hot water. And place where, you know, you do the poops and stuff. So, so far the first couple days have mainly consisted of training and one meeting where we got to sit down with the Ariane Spas team and sit and kind of talk about the schedule and what it would look like. Um, other than that, we've been doing a lot of training and we're getting started on our testing. So for, we have, like I said, we have four birds. So we're gonna start testing on two. Um, we have two EGSE racks, uh, electrical ground support equipment racks. So we'll test the first two satellites and then they will move down the hall to fueling and then we will test the second two satellites. So we have to do a comprehensive functional test or CFT, which takes about eight hours, we'll do that one day. And then we'll do RF testing, test our comm system. And then there's a post test that's run by one of the Terabella guys who's here on site. Uh, Terabella is the customer for this. They, it's their satellites. They are formerly Skybox. So you may be a little bit more familiar with that name or maybe not at all, we don't know. But it's a lot of work and it's gonna be crazy and just 
like crazy crazy schedule for the next couple of days to try and get these guys moved to feeling and then we might get a slight reprieve so we'll see what happens but I will keep you guys posted and I'm super excited to take you on this journey with me it has been a great adventure thus far so with that um if you guys want to see more of this content and follow me on this journey please feel free to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel I don't know how often I'm going to be able to put videos out because this get like I said the schedule is crazy but I'm going to try and keep you guys posted on what's going on Ooh. I'm getting a little tired from holding up the camera. I did not bring a tripod because brilliant. But with that, it's super great to be back, guys. I have missed you. Um, stay well, stay awesome, and I will see you next time.